Hey, this is Nate Mill. In this video, I'll show you how to install the thumb keyboard onto your rooted Kindle Fire. If you need root, you can watch my how to root and unroot the Kindle Fire video. You will also need to install Root Explorer app. A link for it will be in the video description, and if you need help installing it, you can use my how to sideload app video. You'll also need to download the thumb keyboard APK. A link for that will be in the video description and you'll need to have it on your Kindle Fire, so um, just move it over to the memory or download it directly from the Kindle Fire browser. The first thing we'll need to do is click up here in the notification bar, click More, Device, and change Allow Installation of Applications from Unknown Sources to On. Press OK. Then we will launch the Root Explorer app and find wherever you saved the thumb keyboard APK. Mine's right there, I will click on it. Install. Hit install. And press done. And go back. Back. All right. Now at the top here where it says mounted as RO, that means read only, and then next to that there's a button that says mount RW, which means read write. Click on that. So then it should say mounted as read write. You might need to allow a super user request, that's fine. We're then going to navigate to data, app, and find the com.beansoft.keyboard plus has the thumb keyboard icon there, long press it move and hit back back again and go down to system app we're going to paste it in there Oops. See, it says we're read-only, so we have to change it to mount as read-write again before we paste it. All right, so see, it's listed there. We then need to reboot our Kindle Fire, so I'll see you when that's finished. All right, we've rebooted. Now, if you try to launch the keyboard now, it'll just force close over and over again. So what we need to do is open Root Explorer, navigate to System, App, find the com.beansoft.keyboardplus APK, click it, and it'll you'll get this message. Hit Install. It'll tell you it's going to replace the application. Push OK install and done okay, and then you can go home and then to switch keyboards go to any text input so we'll go to the search bar here and we'll long press in the search bar select input method select thumb keyboard and there we go welcome to thumb keyboard can then pick whichever one you want. I'm going to hit uh, tablet 7 inch number 1. There you go. However, every time you reboot, the thumb keyboard will crash and give you a force close. To fix that, just open up Root Explorer. Go back to System, App, find the thumb keyboard, com.beansoft.keyboard plus, install, press OK, press install. Done. And there you go, won't force close until you reboot again.